Kepe Izana, welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music and I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and money and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we're gonna talk about Spotify taking down a million songs from their platform because of playlisting. So I feel like this conversation is gonna get heated, but it is necessary to have this conversation because it's something that I considered for myself and something that so many artists, especially independent artists and people that are up and coming and just starting out, we get caught in these cycles because we feel like we need certain things in order to be successful. And so we go to these, <laughs> So we end up going to all of these kind of companies and cons and all of this shit from people that prey on you for your money. And it's actually pretty disgusting that these companies even exist to where they charge you to be put on a playlist, but yet it's all fake and it's all bots and it's not real fans and it's not real listeners. And you're spending your hard earned money on this. And sometimes you're not even aware of the fact that it's not real listeners. And I think this is such a, a con, but also it's something that now a lot of artists feel like they need it. They feel like having those playlists and being put on those playlists validates them and gives them some type of level of success or establishment when it's not even real and it's like a backwards kind of weird industry mindset or something I don't even know what to call it but anyway so Spotify have taken down a million songs because they I don't know how they did it, whether it was algorithmically or whatever, but they've considered that some of them or all of them are um, have been put on playlists that were bots and not real people. Now, I'm not going to get into whether some of these songs actually weren't on bot playlists or whatever, because I don't know, I haven't really looked into that. But what I want to actually talk about is the bot playlists themselves and the fact that artists keep getting put on them and keep paying for playlisting and it's something that I considered myself and I did join one of those websites what was it I think it was submit hub or something I think that was the name of it I joined one of those websites where you submit to people that own playlists and it's very cool that that, that website even exists and that you can do it but I've realized it's not important like it shouldn't be the main focus for artists is to get on playlists. I feel like that's like one of the top things that people talk about when they talk about releasing music is because essentially it's a vanity thing. It's like we want to have the large numbers on Spotify and all of these streaming platforms. We want those big numbers because it validates us. It makes us feel like we're successful. It makes other people look at us and be like, wow, they're successful. Like, yeah, they're popping. They're actually growing and people like their music and it's not even real. <laughs> so I personally feel like spending money on playlisting is a waste of money and time, especially when you're starting out because it's not what you need. What you need is to concentrate on your branding, on your content, and on reaching and connecting with your audience. Like they should be the main things and paying for playlists, whether they're authentic or not, it shouldn't be the number one priority. And yeah, paying for authentic playlists can be a priority and can be something that you choose to do, absolutely. And maybe I would look into it in the future. And if I had the connections to get on these massive playlists like major labels do, then I would absolutely utilize them. But it's not my focus because if you have a fan base that really fuck with you and really like your music then they're going to run up those numbers for you because they're actually listening to the music because they like it and because they care about it and because they want it and I think again as I said in another video about growing your social media our focus gets distracted and put on these shortcuts and these ideas of a way to blow up faster rather than on the foundation of what you actually need and the fact that Spotify have now removed a million songs 
just shows how big of an issue this is, but also is kind of like a reset button for people to try and now, if they want to, obviously, to readjust their focus to what's actually important because at the end of the day, our music can get taken down from anywhere at any point without our say so because we don't own those platforms. So it's really, really important to get your focus away from all of this clout chasing shit and all of this number game shit and really bring it back to developing a relationship with your audience and creating incredible content and incredible music and incredible whatever but really like bringing that to the forefront and the focus and when you develop that kind of relationship and you connect with people on that kind of level they're gonna fuck with your music if they like it like you're gonna build those numbers up authentically anyway and you don't need to pay some company or some person that you don't know who you have no relationship with because it's either like a form you submit or a DM that you had and they told you that they can get you these numbers or whatever it may be. Like, instead of going that route through no substance whatsoever, you don't even know what kind of listener is listening to your music. So even if it's an authentic playlist, you don't have any analytics on the back end of who it is that's now listening to your music. Like, you don't even know who it is because we don't own the platform. We don't have that analytics. So, and it's not your playlist, you know? So whilst it is a good thing and it can be cool if it's authentic, but at the same time, having that be your number one focus and your um, scale of success, like your idea of success based upon how many playlists you can get on, I feel like that's just gonna kill your self-esteem and especially when then Spotify go and remove the songs, you know? So it's like you've paid for all of that and you've got all of this hype around yourself for having these numbers and now it's all gone anyway. So, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's a backwards thing and I kind of feel a bit bad for people in a way and for myself because I felt like this for a long time too. Like, it's not a judgment thing on anyone else. I'm just sharing perspective that I have come to learn for myself. So I hope this made sense and I hope it helped you. And I hope that this inspires you to just really focus on being you and building what you want to build and what you love and shifting the focus away from all of these um, shortcut marketing things and actually bring it back to having good quality music, good quality content and being yourself, building that kind of connection so that the numbers will go up anyway and then you'll get press and then you'll get all of these other things that you really badly want you'll get all of them as well but the fan base needs to be the number one focus because they are the people that are going to pay to come to your shows that are going to buy your products that are going to buy your merch that are going to stream your music and all of that kind of stuff so the focus in my opinion needs to shift away from bloody playlists and bring it back to building your audience authentically through connection, connecting with them through content. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below if you have any video suggestions or anything to add to this. And you can also DM me on Instagram. You can text text and whatsapp me i do send daily inspirational and spiritual thoughts every day and all links to my music my jewelry brand is all in the description box below as well as one-to-one sessions with me i do offer one-to-one sessions on business branding emotional alchemy and regulation spiritual topics and healing trauma and just everything about yourself mental health your mindset and building it building a business <laughs> oh my god i swear there's so much to say at the end of these videos that i just run out of effort <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video bye you could say i love you i can't get enough but i just want you to myself